morning to all. So uh, another example of uh, land tenure issues in uh, the Eastern Central Africa, and as you can see, it's a good complement to what um, what Peter just had just shown for for South America, I would say. Um, but the question here is how to um, to combine, I would say, customary rights with rights that are granted to another uh, to to, um, to official companies that has a lot of concessioners in Central Africa. So how we can try to elaborate mixed tenure regimes in Central Africa and basically in the concession. So just a, a few words on, on the Beyond Timber. Um, we worked with uh, biodiversity on, uh, on, on this, uh, this project. And um, well, there is a current assertion that logging concession um, prevents local community to increase their livelihoods by restricting access and use of, of certain forest sources inside the concessions. And, um, and uh, every concession is managed according to a forest management plan that regulates the use and the access of local people to a certain forest resources. Um, but usually it's, it's, uh, the forest management plan are little in force in, in Central Africa because the state is a bit um, absent in, in remote areas, <coughs> among other reasons. And um, the main idea of, this, uh, of the Beyond Tipper project was to focus on the non tipper forest products in logging concessions. And there were a few questions at the inception of this, um, this, um, this project. So, so to what extent do NTFP contribute to local level? Does NTFP gathering uh, generate conflict with the concessioners? And how management of logging concession can be improved to maximize the benefit of local population? Coming accurate from non tiber forest product, but also uh, other forest uses. So um, the map of the site, we worked in six logging concessions, two in Cameroon, two in Gabon, and two in DRC. Um, to, um, to, to, to understand the real conflict, the actual conflict that opposed and still oppose um, logging um, uh, companies with, um, with the whole population, we have uh, selected a few uses that we usually meet in, 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 uh, in forest, in tropical forest. And we have observed if uh, these use are implemented on the field. So every time there is a cross, the, the use is, um, is, is, is present in uh, the concessions. And every time the cell is, is red, there is a conflict, potential but usually actual conflict between the local population and the concessioners. So as you will see, you see on, on, on the table, there are mainly three uh, conflicting uses. One is agriculture, that is, uh, according to the law, uh, prohibited in the logging concession, but still remains a very important conflict in Central Africa. Another one is about hunting, and the third one is about artisanal uh, chainsaw mill. That are uh, really uh, general conflict between local population and the concessioners. So basically, there are two, um, and one reason for such conflicts is that there are two different antagonistic um, land and forest tenure systems in Central Africa. On one, uh, on one end, the concession model, logging concession model, where well, land and forest resources are the ownership of the state, almost 98% uh, of the total land of Cameroon, Gabon, DRC belong to the state, and the resources are, are, are of the, this, um, this land also belong to the state. The main objectives of the logging concession is timber production and protection of the maintenance of the, of the forest cover. And local uses are usually tolerated, but only for a distant purpose. As soon as you try to trade you know, the products you, uh, you, you drawn from the forest, it's, it becomes illegal. And there is no agriculture officially. Uh, the, management production, uh, the management and production are granted to industrial companies, usually large companies, and uh, the use of, of um, forest resources inside the concession are um, are done according to a forest management plan that is validated by the forest administration. On the other hand, there is a community terroir uh, in which the rules are complete and the perception are completely different. The land, uh, in, this, um, in this view, land and forest resources are possessed by legitimate social entities, either it is lineages, extended family, or individual. It's a kind of mixture of different social entities. Um, there is usually a combination of use in, uh, in, a, in, in forest space. Um, the customary rules, uh, there are many customary rules, usually it follows an arrangement. So if we put it in a, in a matrix of land uses, using uh, the different type of rights that were, that were described by Flagger and Ostom, um, 
that's uh, the picture we have for the logging concession, where the state is a um, owner of, of land and, uh, and uh, forest resources. Uh, communities can access and withdraw forest resources for self-subsistence for purposes, and timber is, is granted to logging companies. We can oppose this, uh, uh, this model to the um, matrix of land uses for the customary model, where it is a mixture of different kind of rights used by different kind of, of uh, right holders uh, from the individual to, to the village or to the community. So it's more, much more uh, complex. It's not as complicated. So um, the, the main question are, uh, is, um, as we, we can see sometimes, is uh, the community forestry model, the customary uh, tenure model, can, can, can it be uh, uh, an alternative to <coughs> concessions? There are strong resistances in, in Central Africa uh, to, to go that way. Uh, well, the argument is, is uh, I mean, to, to, to build for a sustainable forest management on local uh, uses and, and, and rules. Uh, usually quoted, uh, I mean, the last uh, New York statement, for instance, and gave uh, uh, a real importance to local population, for instance. Well, sometimes it's, it's sometimes an idealistic vision of the communities and their, the way they can sustainably manage forest resources. So it's not uh, always the case, I would say. We have the worrying example in Central Africa of the community forest that was an official form of decentralized uh, forest resources management to, to, uh, to local communities, and most of the time it's a failure. And this model is, is today replicated in, in both Gabon and, and DRC. Um, and, and basically another resistance comes from the politicians in, in Central Africa we see as a decentralization process as a kind of uh, breach in the, 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 the unity of the countries, I would say, to make it short. So the, the main um, uh, challenge would be try to combine these two systems to build on the concession model, but to adapt it to, have, to give more room and, and importance to, uh, to local uses. So that may be a, a kind of uh, example of the matrix of land tenure we can, we can propose, where the state remains the main owner, but where many local uses are more recognized and uh, are more um, are really included in forest management. Um, so that would be a more pragmatic approach, and we, where we try to build and, and to modify the existing concession model rather than to propose a complete alternative model that today is a bit difficult to promote in Central Africa. Um, that would be a good opportunity to, to, to think and to, to, um, to advocate for a better integration of local uses not only in the local concession, but at the national scale and, and in the politi political area. And, uh, and very, well, the main challenges, especially if at the scale of the concession, would be to be able to, uh, to elaborate institu institutional arrangements where the stakeholders are more balanced weight uh, in the decision making. Thank you.